No matter where you live or work in Yolo County, no one wants to be sick with the flu. That's why Yolo County Public Health is encouraging everyone over six months of age to get a flu shot. It's looking like this year there's going to be enough vaccine for pretty much everyone. Everyone should be vaccinated to reduce the burden of disease. Um, the highest risk groups are the biggest priority for getting vaccinated. So those are the elderly, the younger kids, particularly under the age of five, and then anybody with a comorbidity or a chronic illness, regardless of age. During the 2009 and 10 flu season, almost all of the flu circulating was H1N1 flu. But this year, Dr. Sandrock says, it remains to be seen what strain of flu will be the most dominant. And we're still not sure how that might impact the seasonal flu circulation and how much of the seasonal flu we see is H1N1, the more recent H1N1 from 2009. So, you know, that, that also plays a bigger role in wanting to vaccinate everyone because some young people who otherwise had bad disease with H1N1 in 2009 and 10 are now, you know, we're going to see them uh, show up this year again with seasonal flu and that could be a problem. The seasonal flu shot typically contains protection against three strains of flu, and one of this year's strains is H1N1. Dr. Sandrock emphasizes that the seasonal flu shot is safe. Even though the H1N1 is added into the seasonal flu vaccine, so it's one of the three strains, there's really no issues with safety that's any different from prior years of seasonal flu. It's made exactly the same way. Um, it's just a different strain, which, you know, every year the strains change anyway. So it's just like we've done in the past. Maybe you haven't gotten a flu shot in recent years, but there are some very good reasons to get one, including protecting those around you. So in YOLO, the two big reasons to get seasonal flu vaccine, one is to reduce the likelihood of having severe disease for yourself. So, you know, if you are in that age group, you know, you have kids under the age of five, particularly under the age of one in six months. If you have elderly people you take care of or any other people, that's certainly the biggest reason. So you reduce the risk of severe disease in those at-risk groups. Secondly is to help reduce the burden of disease within Yolo County. So we certainly have areas that are going to, you know, all, you know, schools notwithstanding, we have schools in every community. But, you know, we do have a university in Yolo County. We have, you know, a casino, a tribal casino in Yolo County. These are sort of nidises where people get together and disease can spread more quickly um, than sort of the routine ways like a shopping center. So I think having those people vaccinated when they regularly visit these centers can certainly reduce spread as well. Getting a flu shot takes just a few minutes and low cost vaccinations are being offered at many convenient locations. So the biggest places to look for the shot, number one would be here at Yolo County. So we have clinics and offerings for the shot. Number two is, you know, certainly through their health care provider, if they do have a primary care doc, that's a great place that, that they can look. And then number three, there's just going to be community vaccination centers. So like at CVS and Walgreens and Rite Aid and, you know, certain other places like Safeway, they sometimes have vaccine clinics where you can pay 10 bucks or so and um, get your vaccine done. And then lastly, um, we sometimes will sponsor um, other sites, you know, for example, at senior centers. Dr. Sandrock reminds you that the earlier in the season you get a flu vaccination, the sooner you'll be protected. Yolo County Public Health has information online about flu symptoms, where to find flu shots, and more. Just go to www.yolohealth.org for helpful links and clinic information.